I laugh at myself on a daily basis that I run a children's charity because uh, I have an almost two year old son, Prentice, and my daughter's five, Layla, who you know. Yep. Um, I love them so much, and I love all their friends. And you know, I I have a I have a really you know good way with kids. So for me to run a children's charity is just like you know a dream come true. It was our third annual Christmas in July. We bring out 250 kids from Liberty City, Miami Children's Initiative, specifically they're an organization that we work with. They bust out 250 kids, well, Little Lighthouse did. And uh, Drew always has about 250 from the Gwen Cherry Park system. Ah. So 500 kids all together. How all- many toys, by the way? I mean, thousands of toys. It was it was crazy. Donated by Hasbro. We love you, Hasbro. Our corporate partner of the year. Nerf Blasters. You know, we had some uh, former football players. We had some uh, NFL players out there. And we had some of Miami's finest instructors out there as well. That was where, like, the Little Lighthouse found, Foundation really came in strong. I, myself, personally, like, leveraging some relationships, like Barry's Boot Camp, which I absolutely love. Miami, you know, is very proud to have Barry's Boot Camp in Aventura, Miami Beach, and in Midtown. I love you, Rachel. Rachel yeah, Fitness. Yeah, she did a great job. Oh, man, she's my girl. Derek DeGrazio, he's a managing partner in Miami. I take his class as well. Like, all these instructors are great. They were out there doing fitness with the kids, and they were just, like, loving it. Um, and then we had some other Tony Thomas Sports. He's, like, a fixture down here in South Beach. Um, uh, we had uh, CrossFit. Um, we had the, the movement coach. His name is Josh. He's a great guy. Everybody out there doing different stations and blowing their whistle and the kids are changing it up, man. It's hot. Uh, was, it's July. It was brutal. You know, uh, these kids are just out there going after it. I'm never gassed after my own workouts and I, lo- I lift heavy. But yeah. I was I was I was gassed. I was tired that yeah. day. I came home after it. It was tough. It's tough. It's a tough hour in the sun. Yeah. Um next year I'm bringing an entire team, by the way. It was just me this year, yeah. but I'll do an entire station. I'll I'll find volunteers. I'll make the entire rewind team come. So uh, we'll have a bigger presence next year. Absolutely, yeah. I uh, I had Babichka out there, which uh, my wife Missy was kind of manning it, and Anastasia, who's uh, Mrs. Ultimate, uh, out there. And uh, my workout actually consisted of me running like a wild man to each station, and then I came back to the Babichka station, and then I had the kids chasing after me. Oh man, listen, you look like you're you're so comfortable with kids. You are having I think you're having as much fun as the, as the kids out there. I am. And that's what it's about. I mean, kids pick up on that, you know? Like it's true. You can walk into a situation and just put on a smile for them or do something like a little bit funny and and you'll make them laugh cuz I mean, they're they're little people, but they ultimately want to have a good time. They're a kid, you know? So I like the, I can get on their level like just like that. I'll tell you, I was impressed. Uh, at my at my station, there were a couple times when kids, sometimes kids want to cut in line. And you're dealing with these little kids and feelings get hurt. And I was trying to convey to them, which Drew Rosenhaus had, a, he had a wonderful speech later in the day. But I always say that it's free to be nice. And yeah. Drew sort of, he pounded on that uh, in the inside when he was speaking to all the kids, which is, it is really easy to be nice. It, I almost, and I try to tell this to people when I see them being not nice, it takes effort to not be nice. It is, it is so natural to just be nice and be kind to people, and yet in today's world, you know, we don't see it enough. But yeah. I thought that Drew really had an amazing message that he delivered to the kids. Then please do three things for me, just three things, okay? One, listen to your parents. Two, Get your grades in school. And three, please stay out of trouble. Be a good person all the time. Be nice to people. It's not hard. It's a lot harder to be mean. Be nice. With Hasbro, who was our corporate partner of the year, we announced that during the Hearts and Stars VIP donor reception uh, earlier this March. Um, We go school to school with them. For our Be Fearless, Be Kind initiative. It's Hasbro's Be Fearless, Be Kind initiative. Uh, We've done several schools, North Beach Elementary, South Point Elementary, um, Casa de Bambini, Somerset. And uh, we go in front of like an auditorium. Uh, Hasbro 
you know, responsible for po- My Little Pony and Transformers. You know, they get the attention quickly yep. of the kids. Uh, they do their Be Fearless, Be Kind uh, pledge, and they roll out a video, which is really well done. Afterwards, I, like, take the stage, Little Lighthouse shirt, get them all, like, amped up, and, like, you know, the Little Lighthouse Foundation is the action for being kindness. You know, Hasbro's talking about kindness, but how do you really put this into play? And that's where the Little Lighthouse Foundation comes in. And it's interesting because I've asked all permission from like the teachers beforehand because we're talking to usually about like fifth grade students. Right. Um, whether to touch on sensitive subjects like, you know, homelessness and, uh, you know, um, you know, even even sick children in children's hospitals. And they're like, please talk about it, you know. And so I had that opportunity to show them that we create these programs and it's good because I break it down so simple uh, to make them understand. I'm like, kids, like, do you have after school programs? They're like, yeah. Uh, name some of the stuff that you do. They're like, soccer, you know, arts and crafts, Spanish, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's what we have at the Little Lighthouse Foundation. You guys can come volunteer with kids who are going through a bad day. Wow. You know, and it's, it's like, true. have you, like, if you were in a bad mood and you had a friend come cheer you up or or play with you or do like, you know, or draw with you or, or color with you, would that make you feel better? And they're all, they say yes. So it's like, I asked them, what's a children's hospital? And they're like, a, a hospital for children. I'm like, yes. And, uh, you know, we do arts and crafts with them. You know, throughout the course of the week, we have about eight to 10 programs that we're that we're running and operating at our partner facilities homeless shelters youth centers and children's hospitals uh you know cooking fitness yoga after school homework help dancing the list goes on and you know these kids get excited for it and we've had a lot of um turnout especially at our adopt a meal program at the ronald mcdonald house charity cooking Um, Fit Club, actually right here in Edgewater at Fitbox Method. You know, we always have some, uh, students come in and parents coming in with them to teach the kids from Miami Bridge. It's an emergency sh- shelter for teens. Um, and it's just great. It's amazing how many, how many children are literally need something, you know, and it's not, it's not always an economic. Yeah, of course. I think that children that have or are from you know economically challenged families uh, obviously have it a little bit rougher, but just children in general in today's world, it's uh, it's in a way I think a hostile environment. It seems that they're bombarded with you know bad images and you know there are, are less and less I think admirable role models in the world at least you know from what I see in social media. Um, so to have, you know, what I think is nice about the Little Lighthouse Foundation is that people are giving up their own time and being nice. To be a volunteer, it takes your time and your effort to go out of your way. It's not writing a check. It is literally getting out of your house, sacrificing a Thursday night to go cook in a shelter. Yeah. You know, so it's the, those people convey sort of that being nice from a volunteer perspective. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, back to the Rosenhaus Sports Youth Clinic, you know, having these trainers come out, they were definitely role models for these kids. And, you know, I was doing a couple of interviews uh, on the field as part of our Do Good, Feel Good initiative, uh, which is a really cool project. But I've been interviewing a lot of, um, you know, top philanthropists in Miami, news anchors, Drew Rosenhaus. Um, and when I interviewed Drew and Rachel and Derek from Barry's Boot Camp, I asked them, um, you know, what does it mean to you to level the playing field? And with that said, it's like, you know, the pun intended, we're on a playing field, but leveling the playing field is giving the opportunities, you know, to these kids in need that wouldn't necessarily have a chance to do this. So we were leveling the playing field that day, bringing in like Miami's best to instruct and giving these kids to run around and doing like, you know, sprints on on a football field, you know, working out with the best instructors that Miami has to offer and, um, you know, giving them a look into the fitness world and kind of like, you know, what could they do if they put their heart to it, you know? It's true. Well, also even having, they probably are, some of them were too young maybe to even, you know, understand who Drew Rosenhaus is. Literally, maybe the most famous or one of the most famous agents in professional sports come down take the time out of his day talk to you 
you know, hopefully at some moment in their life, maybe as they get older, they realize that, you know, this guy who's very important came down, spent time, you know, really took time and invested in them. And who knows, maybe it opens their eyes to what's possible. Yeah. Not just being a professional athlete, maybe being an agent or just being a professional. Yeah, coincidentally, that's exactly what he said in, in the interview. When I interviewed him, I said, you know, Drew, um, you know, you got your start you know, you started as uh, a sports agent when you were 22 years old. And, you know, he and I was like, what does it mean to you to like, you know, introduce uh, these youngsters to like, you know, you, you know, these top athletes out here. And he's like, that's a very good point. You know, my dad used to take me to all these football games when I was younger, which, you know, led me to where I am today. Subscribe to our channel, share it, like us. We're going to be posting a lot of uh, great uh, information on Instagram and Facebook. And tune in to our channel for our next educational video, which will be coming out in the near future. This is Brian Burke from Rewind Anti-Aging, and I'll see you soon.